Tom again. New viewers, my name is Tom. I have a lot of years of experience in reef keeping. I've been keeping reefs since 1995. If you like the video, subscribe and hit the bell. Let's get into the video. In this video, I'll make a list of what will affect alkalinity. And as I proceed in the video, I'll show you what will raise it or lower it. Here's the list, guys, that will help you control your alkalinity. Water change, your calcwasser and your ATO, and the amount you two-part dose with. Not bad for 20 gallons, right, guys? You can do it, too. Let's talk about raising alkalinity first. After you've tested, if you've determined your alkalinity is low, this is what you want to do. The first thing you'll want to consider is water change. Fresh salt water has a higher alkalinity, a higher DKH. So when you add that in a water change to your aquarium, which has a little lower DKH or lower alkalinity, it'll help raise it. My clownfish isn't afraid of me. This guy will be. He's not even afraid, see? If the water change doesn't increase the alkalinity, the next thing I would try is increasing the amount of Kalkwasser to your ATO. If you haven't been using any Kalkwasser in an ATO, that could be the reason why your alkalinity is low. I use a half a teaspoon of Kalkwasser per gallon of water. What is alkalinity anyway? The third thing I would do would be to increase your two-part dosing, your calcium and alkalinity. Remember, you're going to increase both equally. You're not just going to increase alkalinity. No filters on this video. My AI Prime, my A80 Kessel. And remember guys, we're always testing after this. The following day, test your DKH. And I would recommend using a good test. I use the HANA checker. Look, he's not even afraid of me. Hey, buddy. To lower your alkalinity, you want to do water change or you want to reduce the amount of your two-part dosing. Okay, what's cool about lowering alkalinity is you do the same things. If you want to lower your alkalinity, you do a water change. If your alkalinity, say, has raised to 13 or 14, you just do a water change, multiple water changes, I should say, over about a period of a week, not too close together. Maybe every few days you do another water change and keep testing. Then you want to ask yourself, well, how did my alkalinity get so high? Remember problem solve video? What did I do wrong? You're probably adding too much two-part dosing. Lay off that until the water changes has stabilized and then go back to two-part dosing, but a small amount. Most likely that's why your DKH or your alkalinity went up so high. All right, that's another one, guys. Like always, have a great day. See you on the next one.